Hi guys, this is going to be a bonus video for my creative year and um, for February 2020. This month we are talking about uh, forgotten colors, forgotten supplies, things that you have in the corners of your art room that you never use. I have a great example of that. Uh, I'll show you in just a minute. So in part one of the video, this is part two, um, we did this sort of abstracted watercolory uh, version of um, this photo. I abstracted um, this photo and did some sort of in an inspiration painting, a study, if you will, from this photo. I didn't expect it to be a completed work of art. I wanted to just see what would happen if I did sort of some abstract mark making um, really quickly based on this photo. And while I do love what happens, it does inspire me to keep working with this photo. And this time I wanna try it in acrylic. So, which is why you do studies, right? You do studies and you wanna see what kind of movement and marks you can get based on whatever your inspiration is. And maybe you do it a few times before you actually commit it to something that hangs on the wall. That may be what happens in this case. And it's already leading me to think about other photos that I've taken um, that like this one are really uh, photos where I didn't focus on necessarily being um, sharp and clear and, and in focus, if you will, in the photo um, or having a balanced composition. I was really about the light and the reflected light. I do have a couple other photos in my camera roll. I'm gonna load them to the 2020 Inspiration Photos folder over in my Creative Years Facebook group. So if you want this photo or one of those others, you need to be over there. All right, so I'm gonna put the photo off this way. I'm gonna put the journal over there also. I'm gonna have both of those out. I have a plain piece of, this is just inexpensive Strathmore watercolor paper. Before we get started, I wanna tape off the edges. So I'm gonna just do, use blue painter's tape. And I'm gonna tape off the edges of the paper. I probably should have my reading glasses on for this, but I don't, so you know. Okay. And then as I'm taping off the edges, it's also taping it down to the nonstick mat, which is not a bad thing. So things don't slide around. Then we'll do a preliminary um, rough, very basic sketch uh, with a pencil in a color that you saw just a second ago that I never use because we're doing forgotten colors, right? So I bought a bunch of these pencils. I really only use the black one. <laughs> so I have this light, light brown one, so we're gonna use that because I you know, kind of forgot it was in my stash, to be honest. I'm going to just roughly sort of sketch landmarks, basic things from the photo. Okay. Okay, and then I have this box of what I've labeled specialty paints. Now, really they're just mostly mini tubes of acrylic paint and or acrylic gouache, which is a matte finish paint. Um, the problem is that I kind of always forget that they're over here and I have um, Amsterdam, I have Holbein acrylic gouache, which is a great paint, and I have Liquitex Basics. I also have the random PR sample that's been sent to me, like, this um, schminky artist's acrylic in carmine. Um, I also have, funnily enough, this Windsor Newton acrylic um, sample pack that was sent to me. And the funny thing is that it was sent to me um, to do something with a video, uh, you know, in a video with it. And I just, you know, I requested samples from companies and then I got some and then just put it in a box and forgot it was there. The red seems like it's okay. The yellow 
and the flow improver. Um, but the blue, <laughs> the blue, it's a little bit pliable, but yeah, that's not going to be good. So what we're going to try to do is use up these two colors. Obviously, they're forgotten colors. I forgot they were in there. This is Azo Yellow Medium. This is Permanent Rose. And then there's some Flow Improver, which I don't know. We'll try it. And then I have this box of other paints. I have the other schminky red, the Carmine, so we'll put that with this red. I need a dark blue. And or we have this color, again, a color I forgot I have. This is grayish blue. So maybe we'll use that. We have lots of black. Boy, we have lots of black, which I don't think I need. I do need some white. So there's titanium white, which we also have a lot of. Um, I also have, what are these? These are Holbein. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know I had these. Holbein Artist watercolors. No idea they were in here. Huh. Okay, well, those are not even in the right box, so <laughs> I had no idea they were in there. I don't see a dark blue. Oh, wait, hold it. Navy blue. I'm going to get out some black, though, and I'm going to get out this blue, I think. Maybe this blue violet. Okay, we'll start with that and we'll see where that gets us. Okay, see what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know those watercolor paints were in here. I had no idea. We may use some of them today. I mean, there's no reason why we can't mix watercolor with acrylic. Um, we might just experiment and see what happens. I didn't buy these, I'm pretty sure. Um, they must have sent them to me, or if I did buy them, I only bought these colors. I don't remember buying them. It's possible that I did and forgot completely about it. Anyway, all right, I'm going to fast forward through my process. I'm going to use a variety of tools. Um, of course, I'll use a paintbrush, but I'm probably also going to use things like a, a palette knife and scrapers and, yeah, stuff. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, holy cow, I really love the way that turned out. I'm gonna sign it in the pencil of co which color I don't use much. And there you go. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'll probably mat it and frame it at some point. It may or may not be up for the uh, sale in the Etsy store. If you're interested, email me. <laughs> Um, my address, um, happy mail address, my email address, a bunch of different ways to support the free content on YouTube or in the Facebook art groups is all in the video description. No matter which place that you're watching this video at, whether it's in the My Creative Year Facebook group or it's over on YouTube. So check out the video description. Relevant links are always down there. All right, holy cow. Yeah, I really like the way that turned out. I have some strange colors of paint though. <laughs> And I had no idea that I even had these, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them. All right, that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with forgotten colors, forgotten supplies, and maybe technique that you have never tried before or haven't tried often. Give it a shot and see what you think. Again, I love the way this turned out. So anyway, definitely colors I wouldn't normally do. I would normally put a pop of like neon orange or something in there, and we didn't do that. We used the shell pink watercolor instead. Um, I love the way it turned out, it's great. All right, anyway, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Feel free, to, if you're in the Facebook group, to ask me questions, tag me in your post. And above all, go out and have a great day, everybody. And uh, do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And to all my patrons over in Patreon and my supporters here in the membership over here on YouTube, I do appreciate you always. All right, that's it for today. Bye, guys.